Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Gail right here, back on the 5.9 channel, and we have some massive, massive, massive news. Throughout the day, we've been getting some rumors. I've been seeing people talking about it on Twitter a bit. I've been hearing from people as well that there is a big announcement coming on Sunday for Goku Day. And surprise, surprise, it's already been leaked on Toei's very own website that there is an announcement for a new movie coming in 2022. With me today, we have Goresh and Ignan. Goresh, say hello, first and foremost. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, very exciting news, so I'm pretty excited to jump in here and start talking about what this could potentially mean. Ignan, how are you doing today? What's up with you and how do you feel about this? I'm feeling great. I'm very excited. I've watched the Broly movie nearly a hundred times. I hope I can do the same with this one. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, of course. Now, this is coming as a bit of a surprise to us. You know, we've all been, well, not necessarily a surprise. We've heard rumors about a potential movie you know Toei had even mentioned that there was a movie in development at some point but it never nothing came of it right and we were really hoping for the anime to come back very soon it's been nearly three years since anything anime related or movie related uh, Broly came out in what 2018 2019 uh, the end of 2018 early 2019 right so obviously it's been a while since then and even in the manga we've gone beyond the T.O.P. We're now two arcs ahead of the T.O.P. right? So Goresh, what do you think we'll be seeing in the movie? Do you think it'll even be something related to what's happening in the manga right now? Or are they going to do something completely different? Well, before we even jump into that, the first thing I want to just mention is how this even like came about. Like, How do we even know that this is happening? And I think the gist of what happened was there were some reference to this on the actual Toei site for Dragon Ball Super or something like that and there was like a, a block that was listed on the site it's like oh like a special Goku Day announcement because again if for those that don't know Goku Day is May 9th so they had that announcement set for May 9th so I think we should quote unquote officially be receiving this announcement on you know May 9th but in terms of what I think this movie is going to have in it it's, it's hard to say because there, there, there's some issues here, right? The manga at this point has already gone forward two arcs ahead of the anime, right? The anime ended with the Tournament of Power, and then we had the Broly movie. I sort of count the Broly movie as part of the anime because it's still an animated form of, of the story. Um, yep. and, and in the manga, you know, we've gone through the entire Moro arc, which is a major arc. Like it's, you know, if that was an anime, that, that would have taken as long, if not even longer than the Tournament of Power did, which, you know, uh, many, many episodes. Um, and then we're in the currently in the midst of the granola arc. So if this movie is going to be a new story that we have not seen before, I guess it would have to technically take place after the granola arc, right? Of the manga. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's a little bit strange to me because if they're ever planning on bringing the anime back, right, the the episodic version of the, the, the TV weekly show of Dragon Ball Super, if they want to bring that back, then that will have to cover all of the arcs in between the ending of the anime that we know, the T.O.P., and then the start of this movie, which, you know, if we're assuming it's going to be a new story. Um, so it would have to cover Broly, Moro, Granola, and this new movie in a retelling, which was is, is a lot. What I think we're going to see is I think, before we even know anything about what this could be, is I think this is going to be a, uh, a movie version, an adaptation of the Moro saga. Um, and to me, that would lead into them bringing back the anime so it would basically be a repeat of what we saw with Battle of Gods and ROF, right? We got two movies, then we got the anime that retold those two arcs into the original uh, the original uh, anime arcs that we got with the Universe 6 tournament. We'll probably have the the uh, the Moro arc, then the Granola arc retold when the anime comes back, you know, uh, and then we'll get whatever. So I could see them doing, um, you know, uh, the Moro arc, and then we'd have the Broly movie retold in the new anime whenever that comes out. We'd have the um, the moral arc retold, assuming that that's the movie, and then I guess the technical first arc of the uh, new super anime, if, if it does come out, would be Granola. But I think yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, there's a, there's two options here: either it's a new story altogether for the movie, or mm -hmm. it's a retelling of Moro. Yeah, I think that's pretty much on the head because I mean we we know obviously some manga spoilers here in terms of the timings of everything and like where everything is placed in the timeline of Dragon Ball is that the Moro arc doesn't take place too long after Broly, right? It's only like a couple of weeks or a couple of months at most, right? It's not even a year or anything of that sort. So 
yeah, it's gonna have to be one or the other. Iggy, what do you think as well? Do you think uh, it's Moro or is it gonna be something new entirely? What is your Be thoughts? Before we even jump into that, I just will oh, say, I believe the manga for the Moro arc, when uh, Mira shows up, right, mm -hmm. and like, you know, interacts with Goku and Vegeta, I yeah. believe that is literally like moments after Goku comes back from Planet Vampa at the end of the Broly movie. Oh, do you I think really? it's literally I, I... the same day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that's fair. <laughs> Do we know how much of a time was between when Goku went uh, went to visit Broly uh, after they beat him as Gogeta? Do we have an idea about that? Because I don't think we were ever told like yeah, I don't how much so. time it was. Yeah, so it might have been a couple of days, weeks. We don't exactly know the time timeline for that period, but. Yeah, I mean, you, you could be re spot on with that because I personally thought it was only like a couple of weeks at most, but you could be right as well that it might have been just moments after uh, Goku came back from Vampa, right? It's very, very possible. But yeah, Iggy, what do you think? Moro or something new? What, what are your thoughts? I mean, I think it will be Moro, but I prefer it to be something new because, you know, I just like yeah. seeing new things. <laughs> and I think yeah, pretty no, much fair. Goresh like nailed it all in the head. Just like right off the bat with that little spill he went on. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the only thing I'll say about it being a new story is we've mm -hmm. seen such drastic increases in techniques and and just, you know, forms and transformations and things that they can do. I mean, I'm not going to go super deep into spoilers for uh, the Granola arc, but we've seen Vegeta and Goku able to do some things in that uh, manga arc so far that if they made an, a movie that is t that takes place chronologically after that arc, people who haven't read the manga would be so confused as to what's going on it wouldn't make sense at all so yeah. <laughs> that that's is why fair I'm leaning, yeah yeah that's why i'm leaning more towards this being a moral arc story or maybe it's something that's just completely separate from the timeline of the manga and anime maybe it's like a prequel to something i don't know that's possible yeah, yeah i think the one thing that you uh, mentioned is very true in that it could be a bit spoilery for some people if it takes place after granola for example but not only that to be fair at this point in super as a whole we're getting really 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 close to the end of z right so how I, I, like how long do we have until that period where is it gonna take place and how much closer are we to when they potentially and most likely will have to retcon the end of z right considering everything that's happening yeah how much that power and techniques they have right i forgot so, about that we yeah, are still before the end of the z aren't we like all yeah, the yeah, all yeah. super everything that's labeled super is taking place in that get that 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 uh times that time jump in between the end of the boo saga and the end of z right that's what super is yeah. it's that little uh gap of time there um yeah but i think there was somebody who i don't remember who said this maybe it was it might, might have been toyotaro who was like i'm not gonna wreck on the end of z so i think somebody made that statement maybe it was toriyama I don't, I don't remember but i wouldn't be surprised if even though they said that they you know this is before they come up with like this is this is years and years ago so yeah. this is before they come up with all these extra stories and arcs and movies and whatever and manga arcs um, I would not be surprised at all if eventually, at the end of the day, they end up retconning the end of Z to something else. Yeah. I honestly prefer it, to be remain consistent because it's just like mm -hmm. it, it seems a little bit far fetched for it to just change. But um, I mean, if, if they think that all of the things that they're doing with these arcs is just doesn't make sense with the current ending of Z that we have, like we, we, like they showed a certain character at the end of the Moro arc who uh, is trying to tie into the end of Z. So um, I would prefer to re remain, you know, uh, consistent with what we have in terms of the Dragon Ball Z ending um, from the anime and the manga. But if they want to change it, I actually don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, I can completely agree with you on that one, of course. Uh, of course, it's coming out in 2022. We know, obviously, the movie, it's in a movie format and whatnot. But do you think there is any particular reason why they're so hesitant in coming back to a weekly format Goresh maybe you might have any insight on that potentially yeah I mean this is like the the golden question that no one really knows the answer to like why aren't yeah. they announcing a movie and then the um or not a movie why aren't they announcing the return of the anime and the analogy that I always give is you know instead of focusing on Dragon Ball like we know Dragon Ball is pretty much their best selling IP at this point for Toei and for Shueisha and for all these companies that are interacting with all these um, these these uh, manga and anime IPs like you compare it to One Piece, right? Dragon Ball outsells One Piece at this point. It's a, it's a it's actually just we 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 have the numbers. It's a fact that it outsells One Piece. 
and they're so focused on on the one piece anime and the one piece movies and it's like why are they focusing on digging for silver when they could be digging for gold right it doesn't make any sense yeah. in my opinion and, and there has to be some reason that we just don't know about um maybe it's you know people who are instrumental to the dragon ball ip specifically just don't feel like it's time to start the anime again um they had a big success with the demon slayer movie i believe that was also toei right uh, no that was aniplex that oh was aniplex. okay was anyone i mean maybe they're seeing maybe they're seeing the success for the demon slayer movie yeah. and they're like okay maybe we can you know replicate this in some way with dragon ball so that might yeah. be uh, something that's going into their decision with that um but again I, I really don't know this is a good question for the for the comment section if you guys at the com if you guys watching this video have any idea why they are not bringing the anime back after three years even though it's dragon ball and people would literally just watch it no matter yeah. what let us know because <laughs> i'm curious <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, another thing i was thinking of of course is like you as you mentioned the demon slayer movie but i feel also the own their own success with the broly movie even though it, it didn't break as many records as say demon slayer has and whatnot it still was a solid success considering an anime movie and whatnot, right? So I think that might also be a factor in it as well. Um, one thing I was going to mention as well is that there is a possibility. It's a very small possibility in my opinion. But what do you think if the movie was non-canon? Uh, Iggy, we can start with you and then Goresh can chime in. I'd actually like the movie to be canon because... I. I know it's a weird reason, it's like the whole non-canon debates and stuff that people mm -hmm. have are just so annoying. <laughs> yeah. I'd really prefer yeah. for it to be canon. I mean, this what is... What about you, Garish? This is kind of... I don't know if, like, so by, by non-canon you mean, like, it just doesn't fit in the timeline? Yeah, it doesn't fit in the timeline, doesn't have to correlate to anything in the story, it can be its own thing. If, say, they decide to bring in, I don't know, for some reason they give Vegeta UI even though we know he does, well, obviously, there, we know that he's been very hesitant in going UI, but say he wants to go UI in this movie for some reason. What if that happens, but it's not related to the manga or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that, uh -huh. that actually is think? consistent with what we saw for pretty much every single movie that was part of Z, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we had, yep. what, 13 movies for Z or something like that, 15, with Battle yeah. of Gods and ROF included. And it's yeah. like, none of those movies, except for Battle of Gods and ROF, were actually canon to the story of Dragon Ball. They were all in their own timelines. So, yeah. they could do that now, again. I think at this point, the audience, um, you know, it being so much later, you know, anime and manga are so much more, uh, I guess, accepted across the world. Um, the anime has grown so much since it first uh, started airing, obviously, for Dragon Ball. I think people would be a little bit less accepting of a non-canon mo us movie. I mean, people definitely would just like like the fan service, I guess, of it if they did stuff something yeah. like like I don't know UI Gogeta or something. You know, um, yeah. <laughs> it would be cool to see. I think people wouldn't take to it as well nowadays. I think if you compare yeah. this to something like Fusion Reborn, let's just take that as an example. So Fusion Reborn obviously was the uh, introduction of Super Gogeta. They had Janemba. Those characters are not canon, right? They're, they're not canon to the original Dragon Ball Z story. Um, people are okay with that back then. It's just how it was. No one really knew too much about what canon even meant back then, I don't think. And they didn't really pay attention to that. But nowadays, with the internet and everything, it's so much more ingrained into what we like, what we like about the story. Like, I think one of the reasons GT is not as liked as it should be is the fact that it's just non-canon and people just see that it's non-canon and they instantly think less of it, right? Yeah. Um, so I think that's a factor to consider. I personally would actually not mind if that was the case. I, although if I'm thinking about all the different possibilities of what this movie could be, I would actually prefer it to be um, a prequel to something. Like maybe it's maybe it's a retelling of something from Dragon Ball. What if they did that? And then they sort of like went through um, the stories that they did it kind of like the path to power but like a more modern version of maybe some of the other uh, arcs in there because that only went through the red ribbon army saga maybe they could mm -hmm. do a retelling of like the demon king piccolo saga in movie form or something like that i don't know how well that would sell nowadays just because we're so used to all the power-ups and you know wizard beams and stuff like that <laughs> like it's just craziness <laughs> going on sparkly <laughs> sparkly power-ups and and yeah. light shining and stuff like that yeah. um but yeah i don't know I mean, we kind of seen that how how that was treated when GT first came out with the Black Star Dragon Ball saga. Them going back to that more natural, more basic uh, era, yeah. and then that wasn't so well received, right? 
Um, so yeah, no, I, I I completely agree with you. I do believe uh, and kind of agree with you that maybe people won't be as accepting of it, of course, if it is non-canon. But at the same time, it kind of would help them in terms of like, you know, it, they wouldn't have to worry about any timeline or like if they weren't if they didn't want to do more of, of course, but. Uh, and they wanted to do something else, they wouldn't have to worry about time or anything of that sort, techniques shown or anything like that, right? Right. But, yeah, any final thoughts from you guys before we wrap up, uh, Egi or Goresh? Uh, I'm just excited. No matter what it is, I'm going to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, Because I've, I've watched a bully movie nearly a hundred times. Like, I love that movie to death. As long as this movie's up to the same quality as that, I'm fine with whatever it is at the end of the day, personally. I agree, yeah. What about you, Goresh? Anything from you? Yeah, I mean... It's been, what, two years since the Broly movie came out? And at this point, it's just like, I just want more Dragon Ball stuff to digest. The manga is cool. I want animated Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball on a page is, is what is it is what it is at this point, right? I mean, back in like 1987, it was cool. Nowadays, yeah, it's just yeah. like, I want to see things moving on a screen. <laughs> <laughs> that's just my preference. I mean, not everybody thinks the no, same I, way as me, but that's, that's I just have what a quick question for y'all. I do y'all, yeah, do, what's up? Will they bring back Shintani's designs for the movie? Or the- That's a good question. Um, I think it was really well received at the end of the day, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I remember there were talks about you know them bringing the anime back with that style. Which yeah. is so- sick, dude. <laughs> yep. I, don't I, think, I, I adore his style. I absolutely adore it. I love it so much. I think at the end of the day, the question comes down to how efficient is it to actually create an anime that looks and has the same quality as that? For all we know, that style might not look as good if the same amount of time and effort is not put into it for a weekly anime as it was for that movie, right? A movie has a big production budget, right? Yeah. They're spending a lot of time on every single scene. So if they're going to adapt that same style into an anime, is it really going to look as good with that style in, an, in, a, in a production that's not, you know, there's not much time dedicated to it, there's not much money put into it? I don't know. Um, it's something that only, only, they, only they will know. So, I mean, I would yeah. actually like it to be adapted into the anime with that same style or the same movie um, with that same style. But at the end of the day, we just, we just don't know. Yeah, I think it comes down to if Shintani is doing something on, say, One Piece or something in between now and or in between the production time, I suppose, I guess. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind it as well. I think he's he's a, his work on Broly was fantastic. It just depends on how much time he has and if he's not doing something else, right? But yeah, I think that's all from us regarding the news announcements. Uh, let us know in the comment section down below whatever questions we asked during the uh, discussion we had and what are your thoughts on the announcement as well. What do you want to see from the movie? Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more anime and Dragon Ball content on 59. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Bye. I will. Yeah. Gotta take it up like this, y'all. Yeah. Oh.